Hi there, and in this Logic Pro 10.1 video, I'm going to be looking at one of the new features included in the piano roll, and that's called Time Handles, and it's a great way of editing MIDI, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can quickly use Time Handles to create half-time or double-time sections in a MIDI program's drum beat. So I've got this Ultra Beat loop here, drum loop, and we've got some drum fills in here already, and this one at the end here. Let's say if I wanted to create a half time section on bar 4, time handles is a great tool for doing this sort of thing. So one thing we need to do first is activate time handles and we can do that in this functions drop down menu. You just need to check time handles now and now time handles is activated when I drag over a selection of events. I get these blue markers and then one I drag the mouse over to one of these top markers here you get like the flex tool so effectively you can start dragging or shrinking sections of MIDI but what you can also do is what I've discovered is you check this in conjunction with using the the snap up here you can actually snap your time handles so what I'm going to do for starters is I'm going to get rid of the first half of this bar and then just look at focus on the second half of this. I'm going to stretch this out so it's half the speed. And you could program this yourself, but it would obviously take a lot longer than just doing it with time handles. So now with time handles activated, drag over the second half of this bar. Remember, I've got the snap to division now. So now when I drag over this, if I didn't have the snap to division and I just had it on smart and I drag over this section, it's going to use the smart snap. So it will snap to the beat, but also it's going to drag into it, you could kind of drag it there and it's not going to snap quite to the beat so with the vision activated on the smart snap dragging over the second half of this bar I can now and now I know that the time handles it's going to snap to the beat so I could drag this all the way over to the first beat in this bar and now I'm going to get this half speed section which is going to sound really cool when you sort of use this as a drum fill and just very quickly you've created that half speed section in there just using time handles and I could do the reverse here in this, this second beat of this bar the second half of this bar I could maybe do a double speed section using time handles again so what I can do is drag over this section the second half of this bar and this time drag in the other direction so I'm going to shrink it and with the division snap activated you know it's quite nicely snapped to the beat there or to the half beat and now we're going to get this double speed section maybe get rid of these little hi-hats because they don't quite work at that speed and then drag back over this section double it up and we just created that double speed section just very quickly and we listen to the whole loop with the double speed and half speed sections created you can see how quickly you can just create these really cool drum fills yeah it's great for MIDI editing so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial hope you found it useful any questions please get in touch and thanks for watching cheers